Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Tuesday night vlog with Frank. Frank, what are you doing? With Frank right here. So, I'm moving a lot of stuff around from home office to a new office with a dedicated recording studio area. So what this is why we're having the casual-esque vlog. But I still wanted to get one up because there's... Uh, some interesting stuff going on this week, of course, packs east of many things, but first and foremost, there's a stream tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Eastern, as we normally do, uh, so at twitch.tv slash Dan I want to make sure you guys knew about that, because some people are like, oh, Dan, when you're going to packs, are you still going to stream? We're still streaming tomorrow. Uh, speaking of streaming, I'll be streaming Saturday morning, I don't know the time, I'll tweet it out, uh, from the Elite Dangerous booth, but it'll be on my channel. I'm excited to, I think I'm going to get a chance to stream some 2.3, which uh, you can like customize your characters. I haven't messed with that at all, so I'm excited to check that out for the first time. It's going to be on Saturday. Most importantly, I'm looking forward to hanging out with the crew at PAX East. It's extremely rare, in my opinion, that you get the majority of the crew together. I'm excited to hang out with uh, Kate, and I'll admit this, Austin, Rob, and even Melfi. Uh, I'm excited to see all those guys. Because, you know, like we talk and we hang out, we play games, but rarely do we get a chance to hang out. So I'm really fired up for that. Uh, in terms of what's been going on with the channel, uh, Star Citizen Every Day, I've been doing a little oxygen not included. Uh, but I've been really focused on the comments, not in like the trolling type way, you know, like, oh, Dan, you really need to restart it. Not like that, but more so like what people want to see on the channel. And I'm going to be definitely cautious in terms of things I bring on, but I'm also going to be more experimental if that makes sense and i'd rather just not talk about it and just do it and see what happens and then we'll just see how you guys react to it uh, one of the things i was you know i like i'm generally pretty positive but one of the things i was pretty bummed about was i shot a collab series with zero period productions and al chess breach we shot three or i had three ghost land episodes to post and the recordings turned out terrible, not from like a content standpoint or it was a lot of fun, like it really had a lot of fun. There was some funny stuff that happened, but from a technical standpoint, like my computer just melted down and like the audio is weird. But anyways, so it kind of like that was a catalyst for saying, all right, Dan, you know, the computer got wiped. But anyways, you need to set this up properly once and for all. So that way, like I, essentially I don't waste other people's time. Uh, and I was kind of like. I really like doing stuff with those guys and we do it so rare that to have it like kind of, you know, not work out from a technical standpoint is a bummer, but also a learning experience. And that's what I feel like I always turn everything into. I, we're, I was shooting a collab series with Anel. It's going to start on Saturday, just a couple episodes, but we were just talking about different ways to approach things. It's not, I don't know in the episode. It's like, Hey, oh, you know, you generally take things in an optimistic way. And that's how I do. So like, even though I was bummed about those, those Ghostland episodes kind of getting bunked with Al and George, it forced me to make a decision to make things better so that I can literally just get into a recording room, not have a separate computer from, I mean, have a separate computer, but not have to like ever change any settings, but just roll with it. And part of it was the, the Uplay stuff and Ubisoft, but uh, it just was good. It ended up being a good thing, but just a little disappointing. Uh, so yeah, so more Star Citizens Week every single day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. There'll be a, a random video at 3 p.m. You know, one of the things about I just about oxygen not included. It's fun, it's cool, but I don't know how well simulation games do on the channel. In terms of that, I, I have fun with it, but I'm just gonna be I'm just hypersensitive of that kind of stuff right now because the time that I put into the channel, I just want to make sure it's utilized in the most efficient way where which essentially is making videos that you guys want to see not always the ones that i think do well and i think that's part of it is i'm at a point now where we've been doing this for three years where it's like i don't care if i try something and it bombs i'm just more apt or more inclined to try different unique things because that's fun and that's how you make stuff grow and see what works and what doesn't. Anyways, outside of that, uh, there I do have the channel numbers in front of you. We're going to go over them real quick because I did miss last week, but I didn't I didn't combine two weeks. We're just keeping comparing apples to apples. We just missed last week. So uh, last time we did this, we had 65,000 views this past week was 75,000. Those went up. That was good. A lot of it was because of Tournament Shame, which was an awesome uh, tournament. Had a lot of fun. Nick 
skinked me out in the end. He played tough, and uh, that was a fun one. I felt like that it was good to get the tournament of shame back rolling again. Uh, last week the likes were 2011. This week we're 2000. 330, those went up, that was good. Uh, comments were 433 this past week, they were 370, they went down. And subscribers went from 114 last week to 204 this week. So those went up, that was good. So I want to thank you guys so much uh, for all the support on the channel, for watching the vlogs, watching the videos, and for sharing your opinion in the comments. I read every single one, and I really try to keep track of what a lot of people are saying and then implement those changes or at least experiment with that if you guys are at pax east uh feel free to say hello i'm pretty nice uh but if not just yell yeet and, and i'll know that you you might want to say hello but not really say hello uh but outside of that speaking of yeet I, and i'm not gonna like fanboy out or anything but i'm just i'm not a closet watcher like i'm pretty open about it I don't talk about it. Um, I guess I talk about it with people on Skype, but I don't tweet about it. But I really enjoy Cash Nasty Gaming vlogs and videos. And I hope, I my goal is I hope I get a chance to meet him at PAX East. And I'm not really like that. Like, I'm not, I don't say, impress is not the right word, but... I don't know, you meet people and it's like everyone does the same thing and everyone's really cool, but... I don't know. I'm just, I hope I get a chance to meet him. And I don't know if that sounds weird or not, but it's the truth. So I'm going to go out of my way to hopefully get a chance to meet him and, and tell him that I enjoy his stuff because his stuff's hilarious. Not always for the kids. Definitely. It's, it's, it's definitely a lot of swearing and stuff like that, but it's, it's really entertaining. And if I need a good laugh, I always watch it. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the impromptu Frank vlog. Um, but I will see you guys at PAX East. Later.